I'm deeply saddened to report the tragic loss of two of HBD's finest in a senseless and selfish act. On behalf of the men and women of the Honolulu Police Department, our deepest condolences go out to the families of Officers Tiffany Enriquez and Kauliki Kalama. HPD Ohana grieves along with you and shares your loss. First thing we heard was gunshot. It sounded like a shotgun type gunshot. Then we heard rapid fire gunshot after that. This morning at 9 a.m., officers responded to a 911 call from a female who said that she needed help. The initial responding officer found a female who had been stabbed in the leg. Two additional officers arrived and the three were walking down the home's driveway when the suspect opened fire, shooting Officer Enriquez, a seven-year veteran assigned to District 6, Waikiki. Two other officers were forced to take cover as more officers arrived to assist. The suspect fired at the second group of officers and fatally struck Officer Kalama, a nine-year veteran assigned to District 7, East Honolulu. I went back, see the lady um, uh, does it injured, wondering where's the uh, ambulance, or the paramedic wouldn't come because of the you know the shooting going on. So uh, I took it upon myself and one other lady to take the injured old lady to the ambulance. And then after that, we started seeing the smoke and the, uh, the smoke just getting heavier and heavier and thicker and thicker. More officers arrived and shortly after, they saw thick black smoke coming out of the home. Several homes were engulfed in flames and several more have significant damage. First responders are still at the scene and it will likely take days to process a crime scene, including recovery of any remains. At this time, there are three persons who are unaccounted for, including the suspect. 